Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here, and welcome back to a brand new movie review. In tonight's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on, on the new movie that, that me and my cousin Ashley went, went and saw at Regal tonight. And, like, and... And Ashley's husband, Robbie, Ro Robbie was originally was originally planning on coming with us to see this movie, but but sadly, unfortunately, like Robbie wasn't able to make it since he he felt he felt very sick with the cold. So it was just me and Ashley seeing this movie together, and and I can and I can see and maybe I'm maybe I can picture some of you guys are probably guessing because because of the shirt I, I wore to the movie, scary movies and chill with Ghostface on it. Yeah, tonight's movie review is gonna be on. Scream 6. Yep, Scream 6, the, the new installment in the Scream franchise. So, in this movie, four survivors of, of the Ghostface murders leave Woodsboro behind for, for a fresh start in New York City. And, and this Scream movie takes place in, 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 takes place in New York City. And so, however, they soon find themselves in a fight for, for their lives when, when a new killer embarks on a bloody rampage. And pretty much, you know, and like, you know, the, the two main girls have to have to have to figure out who, who the real ghost face killer is behind this spree, as always, in like every screen film, pretty much. And of course, this is this is also the second screen movie not to be distributed by the Weinstein Company. It, it was like it, it's the second screen movie to be distributed by Paramount and Spyglass Media Group. And of course, it's I, I, and I think I think this is also the very first screen movie not to have Nev Campbell because Nev Campbell Nev Campbell says that she she wasn't coming back as Sydney for the sixth installment, but yeah. So so I, so I I just I decided like <clears throat> excuse me me and my cousin Ashley went went to see Scream Six at our local Regal movie theater at that at our local Regal movie theater tonight. Since 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 I was planning on seeing this movie tonight as an early Thursday screener because because I, because and then after seeing it I felt like getting getting this movie review uploaded here on YouTube before before I leave home for the Outer Banks tomorrow so yeah because I'm actually I'm actually yeah in case some of you guys didn't know I'm actually le leaving 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 home for the Outer Banks tomorrow like me and my parents are heading to the Outer Banks in North Carolina tomorrow morning so I won't be at work tomorrow not even at Regal. So, yeah, so, so I'll be off work at school and, and the movie theater for, for this Sunday, like the 12th. But, but I, I just wanted to point that out. So now let's talk about Scream 6. So, so, so I remember since seeing the fifth installment, I remember seeing Scream 5 last year in January 2022 with my parents. And, and, and how, how does Scream 6 play out? I gotta say, Scream 6 actually actually worked well. I I, I thought I thought I thought Scream Six was, was a good Scream movie, and I, and I I think I really liked it. Yeah, because the the and what what I like most about what I like most about Scream Six is, is that is that is that Scream Six actually takes place in like New York City, and it, it, and, the, and and of course New York City is, is actually is is also like one 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 of my favorite cities to visit. Like 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 I, I wish I could visit New York City again someday, but. Yeah, because New York City is like one of my all-time favorite cities and places to visit. So, because and that's one of the things I liked about this movie, like how the movie takes place in New York, in New York City, and of course Ghostface is going on a killing spree in New York City, and e even the subway train sequence, like near the end of the film, like we saw in the teaser trailer, like e even the subway train scene, I, I, train scene, I think what was probably the most suspenseful, and 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 of course the most. The, the most suspenseful and thrilling scene in the movie. Yeah, the, the subway train scene, like, like like we saw in the teaser trailer. But I'm gonna I'm 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 not gonna give away any 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 like you know important plot details. Like I'm not gonna give away any spoilers because because since this movie comes out tomorrow, March 10th, and and like I said, I just want to get this movie review uploaded before before I head to the Outer Banks tomorrow morning. So. And I gotta say, I gotta say, the kills in this movie I, I thought were not even that bad. I, I I thought the kills in this movie were pretty decent, and and the acting performances I thought were great. I think I think everyone did a great job in this film, including Jenna or, Jenna Ortega, like the same girl from X and and the same girl from from another horror film X and yeah, oh yeah, and plus and plus even even Jenna Ortega is also on the Wednesday Netflix show as well. So yeah. 
because I, I I think she's definitely a, definitely a, a, a really a really a very cool actress and even Courtney Cox was also very good in the film too and and even and also from Scream Four Hay Hayden Panettiere is actually back in this movie as Kirby like like Hayden Panettiere is actually back for as as Kirby in this movie like I I think it's I think it's very cool I I, I think it's very cool to see Hayden Panettiere back in movies again including on the big screen because H Hayden Panettiere hasn't really been in anything lately. Because I, I remember back when she was a little girl, she played Dot in the Pixar movie A Bug's Life. And and of course, she was in the live-action animated Disney movie Dinosaur. And she was in a bunch of other stuff, like Ice Princess. And of course, she was the voice of Kate the Wolf from Alpha and Omega. Like, Alpha and Omega is like the one with the wolves. That she, where she was Kate in that film, along with Justin Long as Humphrey. And, and of course, Hayden Penitter was also on shows like Nashville and Heroes, which but my parents never even watched Heroes, but I, I, I've i seen TV commercials and advertisements for Heroes, but I never, never watched it. But I gotta say, Hayden Penitter's performance as Kirby, I, I thought Hayden Penitter did, did, did really good in the film too, just like she did in Screen 4. And, and and while this movie and while this movie is not really considered to be, is not really considered to be like you know the best screen movie in my opinion because I will say I think the best screen movie I think I think are the first two screen films from like 1996 and 1997, and I still think Screen Two is still is still my my favorite screen film out of all of them, and and of course Roger L Jackson is still very awesome as the voice of Ghostface and. And I, I was glad I got to wear my scary movies and chill shirt with ghost face on it. Yeah, it was, it was very fitting to, to see Scream Six while wearing this. Yeah. And even Brian Tyler's music score is still is still well done too. Just like how just just like how he did the music to the previous film, Scream Five. And yet, pretty much almost everything about this movie is just very good, and, and it's and it's just a solid enough, solid enough good horror slasher movie that takes place in, in the night of New York City. Yeah, and 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 it, and, it, and and of course, sure, it it, it is kind of odd odd how how Nev Campbell's not not in this movie, and and it's kind of like not the same without Nev Campbell as Sydney, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is, so. And yeah, and the previews I got in front of Scream 6 are, I only got four previews. I got Air, Mafia Mama, Renfield, and Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Yeah, only four previews. But yeah, it's the best I got. So aside from all that, overall, Scream 6 was a, a, a good enough fun time in, in the Scream franchise. And I'm going to give Scream 6 three and a half out of five stars. I recommend it. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Scream 6. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying... Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it. Catch you later.